Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a mean stack using Angular 2. And basically, I'm just going to walk you through the current setup that I have. So to follow along, I've included the mean setup inside of my Node.js examples repo. So you can head on over to Jack Black slash Node.js examples, and it's inside of this mean setup folder. But if you open this one up, it's just going to have the basic setup. So I'm not including any testing in this. This is just uh, something for you to play around with. And there's really three steps to starting this. You need to go inside of the folder, then type npm install, gulp copy, colon libs, and then npm start. Then navigate over to your localhost 3000. So right now I have the folder set up open in my Sublime text and I'll be going over these files with you. So to start off with, I have mongodb running. So it's running in one of my terminals right here. And then in another terminal, I have my main setup folder open and I've already installed my node modules. Otherwise, you would type npm install. And then the next step is to type gulp copy colon libs. This is going to copy over the Angular, the RxJS, and the shims into a libs folder inside of the public folder so that we can use these files inside of our front end. So we download all of our Angular stuff as well as our shim, our X, RxJS inside of node modules, but we need uh, to have a way again for system.js to recognize it. And that's why we're copying over what we need into this lib folder right here. Okay, so now that everything's copied over, we can start our server. So I can say npm start, and this is going to compile our TypeScript and run a node server and then once it's compiled, we'll get this message here listening on localhost 3000. So then I can navigate over to localhost 3000. I just get this very simple starter template with a jumbotron uh, displaying the text, my mean setup. So a few different things to look at here. And the first is we'll take a look at this gulp file. So there's a few tasks here. Uh, the first one is for SAS and I'm not using SAS, but you can, you would just include a SAS folder where this CSS path is but we are pumping out some uh, distribution minimized JavaScript file inside of this dist folder. That's down here at the bottom where we're compressing scripts. And right here you can see that we're copying over the RxJS, Angular, and Bootstrap in order to copy those folders and files into our lib folder. So that's Gulp. We're just using it mainly to uh, minimize, compress, and copy over files. What's running our server is in our package.json and I'm using npm start, which is compiling TypeScript and starting the server using this nodemon server.js command. You can see I'm using Angular right now, uh, version 2.3, bootstrap 4, and then we're also including our uh, node and express stuff right here. Okay, so let's open up our server.js file. And this is the entry point into our node server application. We're only doing a couple things. We're setting up our environment uh, just to be development. And then we're initializing our database and we're configuring Express. And then we're starting and listening for our server. So again, it's pretty slim. And what we can do is we can look in these server config folders to find out more about our database and about Express. So I'll open up my server, then config. And we'll start with our config.js file. And then this is just setting our development environment. And then it's pulling in this JSON file for to set up the development configuration. So if I go into my environment folder, and this is a JSON file, which is setting some variables, the local host, the name of the database, and a session secret. And then we'll open up our Express file. And this loads up everything that I've configured within Express, the middleware. So right now here, you can see that we've set up environment variables for development and production. I'm only using development right now, but production is uh, possible. And then we've set up a body parser, some middleware options. All of these aren't necessarily being used in the app. They're to make life easier when you want to integrate Passport or something in particular for this Mongo store. I'm setting up the views to server dash views. And even though we're not using server side rendering, you have to set up this views and this view engine when using node. And then we also have to configure our static files to read our public. 
and that this will just load up our index.html and serve our Angular application. So opening up my public then index file, this is what's getting served up and it is going to configure system.js as well as our ES6 shims for older browsers. And then it's going to load up our Angular app right here, which I've named mt-app. And then going into the app, you can see that I've set up just something really simple. We have our app module that's bootstrapping app component. And in our app component.ts file, we're setting a tile string of my mean setup and we're loading up this HTML page, which is what you're seeing when we navigate it to localhost 3000. So feel free to download this repo and this little starting setup and hack around with it and let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions or um, how to improve this, maybe make this a little bit of a better setup, I'd appreciate it. Okay, thanks a lot.